hey guys welcome to the channel and in this video i will be explaining you one question from series of array in interview with so this question is basically to find on uh, the k through of the pascal triangle so what i mean by pascal triangle is so it is the triangle which form up with the help of the combinations of the number that means the first row or the we can say the zero row has a value of one then the second row has a value of 1 1 the third row has the value of 1 2 1 the fourth row has the value of 1 3 3 1 and so on so how these values are formed is so the the value that is uh, lies to the leftmost and the rightmost part is 1 see if you see all the rows the leftmost value is 1 and the rightmost value is also 1 and the middle values which are there it's the combination of the two values from the previous row that is the value just above this two and just uh, above and left side of the two see these two values contributes to a sum of two <coughs> these two values contributes to a sum of three these two values contributes to a sum of three and so on if you further extend this down then these value will be this because these two contribute to sum of four these two contribute to sum of six these two four and so on so this uh, triangle uh, will go on so these values are represented like this manner so what these values represented is uh, if we are at the zero row, then the zero row has the value of zero c zero we have to move this uh, this value the lower value till this upper value for the first show we have the two values of 1c0 and 1c1 so basically this c is the combination which we use in math so if we have the formula of ncr then the formula should be n factorial upon r factorial or n minus r factorial so this is the formula for combination which we have used here to generate these rows after that if we have the second row then this has the value of 2c0 2c1 2c2 when we have a row 3 then it has a value 3c0 3c1 3c2 3c3 and so on so if you found out the value for all of this you will find out this type of triangle which is known as the pascal triangle so what our task is to do is suppose if someone says we have to find the fourth row of the pascal triangle this is the fourth row is this is first this is second this is third this is fourth so this is the fourth uh, sorry, the numbering start from zero. So this is the zero row, first row, second row, third row, and fourth row. So this is the fourth row of the Pascal triangle, which has the value of one, four, six, four, one. Okay. So we have to find this k row of the Pascal triangle. So how I am going to implement this using the code? I will show you with the help of the example now. Suppose for sake of our purpose, we want to find the fourth or let's say fifth row of the pascal triangle okay for finding the fifth row of the pascal triangle what it depends on this depends on the row just above it okay that is the fourth row <coughs> it indirectly depends on the row one two three also but it directly depends on this fourth row let me just uh, write it down here if we have the to find the fifth row what we are going to do is we are taking two vectors the first and the second vector so why we are maintaining these two vectors is see the first vector initially will contain one which is the zero row and the second vector will contain one one which is the first row after that when we want to find out the third row then we are not taking another vector third here we are just simply erasing the content of the first row completely we erase this and with the help of the second this vector we will fill out this first again that is one one and the middle value is two <coughs> so this is the second row once we want to find out the third row then we have to erase this second and with the help of this first vector what we are going to do we are just calculating the value of the third row okay likewise if we want to find out the fourth row then we erasing the uh, erasing all the content of the first row and with the help of the uh, with uh, with the help of the second vector we are filling out this value as 1 4 6 4 1 <coughs> okay 
and once we want to find out the value of the fifth row then what we are going to do we are uh, just removing this value or clear this second vector values and with the help of this first vector we are just filling this value so this value is uh, this 10 10 5 and 1 so as i have shown you here with the help of these two particular vectors, just by using them and using the another vector value we will find out the particular k through which we need to find out in the pascal triangle okay so with the help of the two vectors we can solve this question very easily so what we are going to do here is see we have created two vectors of integers that is first and second and first has the initial value of one and the second has the value of one one okay after that if a is zero that means if you want to find out the zeroth of the pascal triangle that means it's one only so we'll simply return the first form here else else what we are going to do is we are doing something which i will show it here now currently we have at see the zero row is one the first row is one one currently we are at this second row so this current row represent at which particular row we are at and the first or second will represent which particular uh, vector from the first or second which we have taken see the first vector initially contain this and the second vector initially contain this so with these with these two vectors which one to use so this available i have taken for that only so I, for each iteration of the while loop i will change this value to 0 1 0 1 and so on so likewise <coughs> after that while we are not reaching the a plus 1 that means uh, this is the condition to terminate our loop because we need to find out the a through of the pascal triangle so until we are not reaching the a plus 1 through we are just continuing this while loop and these uh, statement for uh, first or second is equal to first or second plus 1 mod 2 is used to just change the value of this one to 0 1 0 1 and so on after that these are the two if conditions which we need to check first we need to check that if it is first or second variable has a value of zero then what we are going to do we are using this first show that means we are clearing out this first show and with the help of this this second uh, vector we are just filling out this value as one two one okay so if first or second is equal to zero we simply clear the first and for each uh, value of this uh, second that means for i is equal to zero to i dot uh, i is equal to second dot size what we are going to do if it is the zeroth element if it is the zeroth element or the last element then we know that for each particular row the zeroth and the last element has value of one and whatever is the value in between we are just uh, with the help of this another vector we are just uh, pushing the value into the first three in the previous so we have second of i and second of i minus one as I showed you in the example this these two values contribute to this value so that's this line represent that only so we are pushing the value into the first which is a combination of second of i plus second of i minus one so this loop continues until v which is the end of this second okay so after this particular iteration what we have our first will contain one to one and our second will contain one one so this is the first row this is the second row after that if suppose if we want to find out the third row of the pascal triangle then what we are going to do see the first or second is now changed to uh, one okay remember that because it's currently uh, initially one then what we are going to do we just add it uh, one here okay okay it's changed to uh, it changed to zero okay so for zero it's this one after that what we are going to do for the next situation this variable will change to one and when it changes to one it falls in this else part and in the else part what we are going to do we are updating this second variable now okay so this second variable we will clear this value one one and with the help of this first variable we are just iterating over all the elements and filling out the value as one three three one for the first and the last element just simply put one and for the middle element just take the sum of the previous two uh, elements of the previous column okay after that what we are going to do for each value we are incrementing the current row because uh, at which particular row we are at this uh, variable represent that only so, 
and once it all done that means the first or the second variable has already the values of the last two rows then we need to return one row either the first vector uh, first uh, vector or the second vector so if the first or second is equal to zero that means we currently modified the first vector therefore simply return first else return second okay so if we have the value like this uh, one three three one one four six four one so if we want to find out zero one two three four fourth row of the pascal triangle okay then we will return uh, the the value this will be in is the second vector see in the second vector we have the value of one four six four one and in the first vector we have the value of one three three one okay but here what we are seeing that we are seeing first or second variable so first or second variable is one in this case if you go to this situation therefore it is one so we simply return the second vector which will con uh, shows the fourth uh, row of the pascal triangle so hope this question is clear to you if it is not clear just drop down the comment and i will help you okay thank you